Hola queridas, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to my channel or welcome back and of course here's another video for you and this has been highly requested by you because so many of you do own my fragrance Venom of Love from Navitus and so many of you love it and you've been hearing from me here and there that I mix my Venom with this, I mix Venom with that. So today I'm coming to you with all my favorite layering combos when it comes to Venom of Love. So if you do not know already, let me get it for you. There we go. Here's my baby, Venom of Love from Navitus Parfum, which was collaboration between the brand, me and the master perfumer Sidonie Lancessor. And here it is, guys. So you get a beautiful bottle and of course the most exquisite juice on the planet Earth <laughs> for me. Um, this is cherry, dark cherry chocolate, almond cream, roasted almonds. Uh, it has some rose and jasmine and a lot of amber wood in the dry down. So it does give you a little bit of that oriental middle eastern effect that I crave for in every single fragrance except from citrus ones. So venom is just exquisite. It combines gourmand, juicy goodness with oriental touches and that's really my favorite favorite combo so this is quite a complex juice however because it has such a nice note structure it actually does go well with so many other fragrances so let me show you what i mix it with the most and if you do not have it already, there's a discount code for you in the description box and of course on the screen and you can get it with a lot of money off. Of course, guys, be aware that my new fragrance is coming out, I think by the end of this month of April. So you can get both of them, then you get a free shipping worldwide. So yeah, I think this is going to be very, very exciting. The new fragrance is the absolute spring summer fragrance, even though it's not citrusy, it's not floral, it's something completely different. And I think you guys are going to fall in love because it is, again, something that came straight from my heart towards you, just like Venom. So let's go with Venom today. And for me, one of the best combos is to combine it with some oods or vanillas and this is what I'm gonna show you today. So the first one that I really love mixing Venom with is Psychedelic Love from Inicio and uh, here's why. Inicio, even though it's not a typical almondy fragrance, it does kind of smell buttery, almondy and vanillic. It is a little bit aromatic at the very beginning, but then you get that beautiful sweetness and it's super sexy. So the combination of these two is going to blow your mind if you haven't tried it already. Uh, you know, the sweetness amps each other up in these fragrances but from here you get that cherry chocolate and here you get that slight unisex aromatic touch so I think this combo will be amazing for both women and men so yeah this is my first one of course when they are combined this is a beast fragrance so I suggest maybe not wearing that combo in a close work environment because you know it might be a little bit too much to some people for me I absolutely love it um, yeah psychedelic love is a great scent on its own so it's venom but together they shine so that's the first combo now going completely into different direction if i really really want to highly amp up the cherry and give a slight animalic kind of a rock cheek kind of touch i love mixing my venom with Cherry Punk from Room 1015. I love this brand and I do have a discount code. So not only you get a discount for Venom, you also get a discount for Cherry Punk. And Cherry Punk is a, again, as the name suggests, a cherry based fragrance, but here you have a little bit of leather. So 
it will give you that, you know, rocketeur kind of a vibe, you know, leather jacket, very casual but sexy at the same time. So if you mix these two, you will get even more of the cherry and another very different yet interesting touch because you're mixing amber wood with leather in here. And let me tell you, this works so 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 well uh, this fragrance even though it has leather to it and i'm not a fan in general i love it here and it is a little bit lighter than uh, venom so if i want something on my skin that's not too too dense and like very cool and a little bit more cash then i mix it with cherry punk both of them are beautiful however i must admit i rarely wear cherry punk completely on its own uh, usually when i wear this i always spray venom so yeah if i want to be a little bit more everyday but very sexy cool then this is my combo and i truly love that you know i am never going to be this person who releases a cherry based fragrance and then i'm gonna not use any other cherry fragrance this is a nonsense for me uh, a lot of cherry perfumes are great and this is no exception it is just a different vibe but when you mix them together you get something uh, even more fruity less gourmand and more cool you know what I mean I hope you do all right next one um, if you need venom to be a little bit more sweet and feminine uh, because uh, some some of you say that this amber wood is quite heavy for you and it does lean unisex as it's drying down you still get a lot of sweetness in here but you know the amber wood shows so if you want something more feminine a little bit lighter but still very very yummy I suggest mixing venom with Kayali vanilla easy peasy vanilla fragrance another one that's great is from Jevois and it is called fire at will I do have it but I didn't bring it here with me because uh, I think most of you do have Kayali so that's why I'm showing this so yeah if you want to make venom a little bit lighter a little bit more flirty not as deep and dark then Kayali vanilla is going to be fantastic and truly any other vanilla except from this one that I'm going to show you now because this will make venom ultra sexy like ultra sexy and this is another Initio and this is absolute aphrodisiac oh guys this combo is to die for i wore it a lot like that in milan uh, during the perfume expo and i got tons of compliments from men truly you know um i met such great perfumers and brand owners and when we were saying goodbye most of the time we would hug and you know that that shebang and they would smell me and they would be like oh my god I know this is not mine but this is good so yeah this got me a lot of compliments so um, this kind of vanilla is very animalic very raw and wild and then it gets sweeter and sweeter so it is just perfect to mix it with venom because uh, then venom gets not only a lot more sweetness but also animalic touch and a little bit more of that bite you know what I mean so great 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 combo uh, next one that really sparked your interest when it comes to me layering Venom of Love with other scents uh, I must tell you that the best oud to mix with Venom is oud satin wood because it is a sweet oud and it's quite a simple oud it doesn't change much throughout the day it kind of stays the same it's a heavy vanilla violet rose oud then with venom because venom also has some rose and of course a lot of gourmandy vanillic almondy touches they mix beautifully guys they really really do but i must warn you this is going to be a powerhouse if you are a light fragrance wearer then this will be too much it will truly so only for the strong girls out here and boys you will love it but it is strong together okay because both of them are strong on their own and when you mix them you get an incredible scent okay you get an incredible scent just imagine 
oat satin mousse with added cherry chocolate almond. Like, I don't know why Kurjan didn't invent it yet. Like, another flanker of oat satin mousse because it smells incredible. Actually, let me spray it together because I really, really crave it right now. I need to remember how it smells, guys. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. You know what? And Venom gives Oud Satin Mood even more of smoothness because of that nutty, creamy, huge undertone that we have in Venom. This actually gets even better with it than without it and you do get that uh, a little bit dry, dark chocolate running through the Oud. This is good guys, trust me. If you have them both, try them together. I know one of you commented already that you, you're gonna try it. So yeah, I need to know in the comments below how you like those layering combos so far. I have so much more, so let's keep going. But this was another one that I love. And yeah, not for, not for soft, sweet girls and boys this is for strong people okay strong people out there all right next um this is quite simple but i'm just gonna give you a hint because it's a very easy combo and it makes the fragrance i'm gonna talk about way more interesting and i love mixing venom with velvet tonka from bdk this is a newer fragrance in my collection but since i started using it i've been spraying venom on top of it a lot and i must say they smell absolutely divine together i feel like with velvet tonka it might be a little bit too powdery for some people because it is a very strong fragrance and you get that slight cherry feeling to it velvet tonka also has ro rose water to it so you know the, even the notes match each other perfectly and what you get is like this still cherry chocolate very almondy a little bit of powdery oriental goodness okay uh, there is some orange blossom or neroli here i think it's orange blossom so it will give you that um middle eastern garden of a feeling if you mix it with something fruity like venom and it's top note this is phenomenal just phenomenal guys I feel like even though it's a very easy combo to think of, uh, this is one of the best ones. It is so exquisite together. Uh, Venom tones down the powderiness of Velvet Tonka and Velvet Tonka amps up the almondiness of Venom. And together they're very sweet but incredibly beautiful. And uh, honestly, I wish it would be like a Venom flanker to have these fragrances together in one bottle because they smell divine combined. So that is it. If you have a problem with Velvet Tonka and you have it, try it with Venom of Love. It is incredible together. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay. Now, another absolute heavy hitter that I need to mention because I truly love wearing these together because again, this is a heavy fragrance but it does have that slight cherry-like touch. And this is a woody bomb, all right? Together, that amber wood in Venom is very much amped up. So this is for, again, strong people here. Mandorla from Sora Dora. Again, I have a discount code for whole Sora Dora collection. So use it guys and abuse it because it's for you here to be used. And yeah, these together, this is a massive powerhouse, but it doesn't go too oriental like it would with Oud Satin Mood, you know what I mean? This goes like dark and woody together and this is phenomenal uh, the fragrance gets a little bit drier darker even more seductive it is a phenomenal phenomenal combination so yeah this also should be a flanker altogether uh, i love these two together because sometimes the dry down of mandorla even though i think it's one of my top three from soradora and i love the brand in general uh, this sometimes feels a little bit too 
unisex, like too masculine leaning, there's not much sweetness left after two hours. And when I mix it with venom, I keep that sweetness. I keep that cherryness of the whole structure on myself. So incredible, incredible combination. All right, uh, now I might surprise you a little bit, uh, but uh, this makes Venom of Love very appropriate for summertime. And you would not believe it, but it was a complete mistake for me to try it together and I really enjoy it. And Olympia goes so well, surprisingly, with Venom. Um, I don't know why, but you know, that vanillic saltiness of Olympia Mm, gives that slight beachy breeze to venom and it becomes a little bit lighter a little bit more airier a little bit more aquatic and you know that saltiness it's sexy on its own so if you combine it with something so sexy like venom Guys, this will be a phenomenal combo for summertime, trust me. I know you wouldn't think of it, uh, you know, if you read the notes, etc. But really together, they are fantastic. So yes, Olympia and Venom, another combo that I really, really, really like. Um, another fragrance that I want to share with you that I love mixing with Venom is La Belle Le Parfum. And this is for all of you who own these two because I know so many of you own these two and maybe you haven't tried them together and I'm telling you, you absolutely have to uh, because La Belle Le Parfum is super feminine it is very sweet but it has some darkness to it and so does Venom so guys, together, okay let me do it again this blazer will be very venomous, alright, let me tell you that Yeah, I love it. I love it together. This is such an underrated combination. But again, so many of you have these two fragrances, so you definitely have to try these together. And again, guys, I'm telling you, please give me your thoughts and comments down below because I really, really want to know what you would or do mix Venom with. All right, I have three more fragrances that I want to share with you uh, that I love mixing with Venom. The first one is going to amp up the rose, okay, and the balsamic undertone. And as you can see, I'm really trying to give you different variations on Venom, so not only mixing it with vanillas, I'm trying to give you everything that I use that truly changes the fragrance so the next one will amp up the rose okay and it also will give you a balmy feel to venom and it is my favorite dior poison girl eau de parfum not toilette parfum all right so these two together oh, guys that rose with that cherry chocolate is You have to try it together it will not feel too girly so don't worry it will be absolutely amazing I love the mix of these two they match each other so well yes yes guys this is absolutely phenomenal I love wearing this for a night out Okay, this is sexy, sexy mamacita, aquí, okay, I love it, I love it, you have to try it, if you haven't already, these two are made for each other, match made in hell, you know, <laughs> okay, next one, um, oh, okay, now, I have to be honest, I do mix it with Baccarat Rouge, and it goes well so 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 incredibly um baccarat rouge we all know it how it smells some people say it smells like um like uh, bondage bon bondages yeah i think that's the word uh for me it's like this beautiful transparent um burnt candy sweet like scent i love baccarat rouge and to combine it with Venom of Love, 
you get something different you just get something different um, I don't know what it is but they really complement each other uh, Venom of Love it is a very much of a beast mode but it doesn't go too far from you okay it projects into the air at this distance and Baccarat is something that will drift Baccarat doesn't really stay close to your skin it does appear there from time to time but in general it's somewhere in the air and everybody can smell it so with that you get impeccable sillage guys this is phenomenal and to baccarat rouge if you add that almond and if you add that chocolate together you get something that is way deeper and way better than the baccarat rouge extrait and i highly suggest you maybe get just the original baccarat and to save your money mix it with venom of love and this way you will get something absolutely exquisite and in my opinion better and even more powerful than the extra version of this and if you get these two you still pay less money than you would for the uh, extra alone so yeah this is a phenomenal combo again this will be a beast around you and this will be a beast in the air and if you smell them together it is a beautiful scent beautiful scent i i cannot even describe it um yeah it's pretty much like baccarat with cherries and chocolate and a lot of almond i love it so that is that and uh last but not least this will be a simple one but again a lot of you have this fragrance so if you want to lighten up venom of love if you want to have it less dense and again a little bit more girly um, but also add a little bit of a mineral note which will give you that slight beachy airy vibe i highly suggest you use bois doré from van cleef and look how beautiful these bottles look together so so pretty so with bois doré you will get that vanillic ice cream mineral feeling um, and uh, you know if you combine it with venom it is so beautiful and it lifts venom up it gives it airiness it gives it cheerfulness it gives it daytime vibes so yes this is another one that is very long lasting and fantastic to again lighten up venom of love a little bit Whew, okay guys i think this is it when it comes to my current because it will probably evolve and change but these are my current favorite venom of love combos let me know which you, which were let me know which are your favorite ones and of course we will explore together and guys, uh, my perfume, the new one from Navitus is coming up soon. And all I can tell you that the bottle is phenomenal. The juice is incredibly long lasting. It is unisex, but at the same time, it is calming and sweet. Uh, it's fresh yet not fresh it is wild yet feels like home and the perfume behind it is did you hear me yeah that's all i can say thank you so so much for watching guys and don't forget to grab venom of love and if you are still hesitating and want to explore more from navitus remember that i have a big discount code for the discovery set as well so check it out and see you in my next one bye